Praise the Lord, God's children. I believe that the Lord has kept you well and you are growing in his goodness. As we start this time, let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to share your word and to bless your children. Receive glory even as we do this in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is John Nathan Owara. I coordinate Scripture Union in Northern Region and I am blessed to be sharing this with you. Today, I am talking directly to fathers. I am a father of two beautiful girls. I am married to Faith Irene Oora. Being a father is a godly thing. Being a father is a responsibility. So let me talk to you as a father. Who is a father? I usually use acronyms or abbreviations to bring out what I believe the Lord is helping people understand. We shall begin by reading scripture. First Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 says this, I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Almighty God. I shall be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Almighty God. God is a father to us. And what does this mean? How does this apply? How does this help us to be fathers to our children? A father, F, a father is a friend. God is a friend to us, and God expects us to be friends to our children, that we are able to play with them. You are able to play with them. You are able to listen to them. A friend listens. A friend sits around you and wants to know what you're going through. So a father is a friend. And it's important that we fathers are friends to our sons, friends to our daughters. A, a father is an ambassador. An ambassador is somebody that represents their nation in a different nation. And you're supposed to represent your nation so well that when they look at you, they see your nation. What this means is that a father is an ambassador of his family outside the family. If you're a father like I am, or if you want to be a father, or if you're going to be a father, and I mean a good father, then you're supposed to be an ambassador out there. When people look at you, what do they see? When people look at you, what do they see? They see your family in you. They see your daughters in you. They see your sons in you. It's important that we are fathers who carry a good image of our family outside there. When you drink and get drunk, when you're a thief, when you're a robber, when you're indisciplined outside, you're an ambassador of theft. You're an ambassador of alcoholism. You're an ambassador of drug addiction. So as a, as a father, if you're a sexually immoral person, that is exactly who you portray your children to be. So if you're a good father, then you're a good ambassador of your children, a good ambassador of your family. A father is also a teacher. So we say a father is a teacher. Who is a teacher? A teacher is somebody that passes on morals, that passes on information to other people. We have all been to school. Our teachers have tried so much to teach us, to pass on mathematics, English, and other subjects to us, to the point that we are able to pass our examinations. If they didn't pass it on well, then we failed. If they passed it on well, then we passed. So you're a father. You're supposed to teach good morals to your children. Teach your children how to dress. Teach your children how to present themselves in public. Teach your children how to eat. 
Teach your children how to hold a fork. Teach your children how to lay their beds. Teach your children how to polish their shoes. I am glad that my own father taught me some of these things. Some of us have spiritual fathers. If you're a spiritual father to somebody, you're supposed to teach them how to present themselves out there. A father is a teacher. And that's very important. H. A father is a hard worker. If you're lazy as a father, your children will be lazy. If you're lazy as a father, your children will not work. If you teach your children to work, yes, they will work. Children learn best when they see us do. When you tell them by word of mouth, they learn little. But when you show them, they learn most of it. So if we're going to the garden, you pick the hole and we do it together. The children learn it. If it's time for prayer, you do it with them. If it's about work, let's help them. Let's teach them to work. So a father is a hard worker. And in a home where a father works hard, there's provision. A father is also an example. We have so many fathers that are not examples to children. When you beat your wife, what you're exactly telling your, your son or your daughter is that it's okay to beat your wife or to be beaten by a husband. But God is saying, I'll be a father to you. Does that mean he's going to beat you up? Are you a good example like God is a good example to us? It's important that we're examples. When you dress well, your children adapt a good dressing culture. When you go to church, the children follow you to church because you're an example. When you read your Bible, when you pray, they are following you. Are you a good example? I pray the Lord helps you be a good example. And lastly, a father for our, a father is responsible. A father is reliable. Responsibility we know. Let me talk about being reliable. Are you reliable? Are you available for your children? That they can trust that you are there for them. God is reliable. We rely on him. We trust in him. We are sure he's there for us. Am I that kind of father? Are you that kind of father? Can your, pay, can your children trust that when you say you're coming home, you're coming home? Can your children trust when you say that I'll keep my word, you keep your word? Are you reliable? God has promised in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, I will be a father to you and you shall be my sons and daughters says the Almighty God. This is the heart of a father. Are you a father? If you're not, choose to be a father. God bless you.